Episode number 51 of the BK Lounge, the biggest podcast in the world. Today is sa- Saturday, yes, yes indeed, June 7th. And you know what June 7th is? It's fight night, bitch. UFC 226. Let me just read off this card. Like, ah, I'm fucking dancing. I'm a- UFC 226. What do we got? Goddamn. Oh, all right. We'll, I'll go up from the bottom. All right. So, I think this is main card. Oh no, it's, I'm so disappointed. The the Holloway Ortega fight's canceled. That was gonna about to be awesome. But um, this isn't all of them. What the fuck? Um, uh, maybe there's some undercard stuff. Hold on, I'm gonna, I, I want to find everything. Background fight card. Alright, preliminary. There's Jamie Moyle uh, and Emily Whitmere for the women's straw weight. And then the lightweight, Dan Hooker versus Gilbert Burns. Alright, we got a welterweight fight. Curtis Melender versus Max Griffin. Um, Lando for another... Oh, wait, that was welterweight. I don't know if I said that. Lightweight, we got Lando Venata versus Drakkar Close. Drakkar, that's a cool ass name. Straight out of Game of Thrones. Um, bantamweight, Rafael Asankau, Asankau versus Rob Font. And then uh, this fight I'm actually excited for. Uh, the middleweight, Uriah Hall versus Paulo Costa. Paulo has to be on fucking steroids. There's no way around it. There's just something about it. When somebody flexes too much, there's just a thing about it. But Uriah Hall is going to fucking trash him, hopefully. Um, light heavyweight. Oh, and this is the main card. Light heavyweight, Gokan Saki versus Khalil Roundtree Jr. Okay. Catch weight, 157 and a half. We got... They're talking a whole lot of shit. Um, Michael Chiesa versus Anthony Pettis. It's going to be an inter- interesting fight. Welterweight... Uh, Paul Felder versus Platinum Mike Perry. That's going to be really cool. That's a welterweight. So, I'm, uh, I'm, and then after this, I'll get my predictions for all of this. For all these heavyweight, Francis Ngannou versus the Black Beast, Derek Lewis. What's Francis? He's the he's the the Predator. Yeah, the Predator or something like that. Um, versus um, Derek Lewis. And then the main event. Holy shit. This is a barn burner. Heavyweight Stipe. Uh, fucking Stipe. Stipe. I can't believe. I, I can always say his name. But now that I'm on fucking microphone. Uh, Stipe Miocic. Versus DC Daniel Cormier. Does Stipe have a nickname? He's got, he has to have a nickname, right? Hold on. Stipe Miocic. Fight name. I'll look up nickname. Stone Cold and the Silencer. Hmm. It's very Hitman esque. Alright, so for the light heavyweight fight with Gokan Saki versus Khalil Roundtree Jr., I've only ever heard of Gokan Saki, so I'm going to go with him. And then this one's really interesting um, the catch weight with uh, Michael Chiesa and Anthony Pettis. <laughs> Chiesa's been in it more, like. And uh, Anthony Pettis might be plateaued by now, but I heard from his trainer, and that could be just be talk, that he's gonna be fucking back and better than ever. So it is definitely an interesting prospect. But ah. I either see Pettis winning by knockout or Kiesa winning by decision. I don't really see anything else. Welterweight with Paul Felder versus Mike Perry. Shit, that's another one. I, I think Perry wins by decision. 
or Paul Felder wins by knockout. But I think I think Felder was a little shook at the weigh-ins, so I think I think Perry wins heavyweight. Derek Lewis, I think he wins by knockout. Or I I think he's gonna tire Francis out. I think he's an all-around better fighter, and I think that was definitely put on exhibition against Stipe in the last fight. I, I just think, uh, I think um, Derek Lewis just all around. I think he's going to take him down, probably grind him out a little bit, but he's definitely going to put a little wear and tear on him. And then once he's, once he's done, he's going to put some on his chin. And I think he has a better of a shot of putting Francis out than, uh, Stipe. But Francis always the puncher's chance. So and he did look leaner, so who knows if he's gonna have some contention wrestling wise, but I just think I think Derek Lewis wins this. And then heavyweight Stipe. Um I just don't know if Daniel knows exactly what he's getting into. It's not John Jones. He's not John Jones. But he's just pure grind toughness. And that's also what DC is, but I just think Stipe is you're you're gonna have to kill him. I don't see him losing that for another five fights. No, no, no. I I think I think uh, out of the heavyweights, who can beat him? Well, Daniel. If there's anybody right now, it's it's gonna be Daniel Cormier. But uh, fuck, who else? Who else is a heavyweight? Heavyweight right now just sucks dick. UFC heavyweight decision. Alright, Alexi Olenek, I guess so. Like, he's definitely a contender, but... Who else do I know? Alistair Overeem? No fucking way, he's done. Andre Arlovsky? I'm skipping some people I've never heard of. Andre Arlovsky, he's too old now, I think. He's, he's my favorite of all time, but I think he's too old now. Ben Rothwell, I didn't know he was still with the UFC. Cain Velasquez. Honestly, if he makes a comeback and he's exactly like the old Cain Velasquez, maybe. He, he, I think he could beat Stipe, or at least make it close. Curtis Blades. Uh, that could be a problem. Curtis Blades could definitely be a problem. He's, he's he, he needs to get a little more shine. Fabricio Verdum. Stipe's already beaten him. Frank Mir, what the fuck? He's I thought he was in Pelator. Francis Ngannou, Steve Ray just beat him. Some of these aren't Josh Barnett's released. Junior Dos Santos, he already lost to Steve Ray. Mark Hunt, I don't think so. Roy Nelson, I thought was in Bellator. Stefan Struve. Probably not. Tai Tuvasa. Not yet, maybe in the future. Travis Brown. I don't see it happening, but who knows? That's fucking Timothy Johnson. Who the fuck is Timothy Johnson? All right. Well, that's, that's not, God damn, I'm tired. Um, my card. What time does it start? The main card starts at 10. Preliminary starts at 8. Prelim start at 7. Fantastic. I'm not going to watch the prelims. I am going to watch the Uri Hall Paul, Paulo Costa on um, the pre preliminaries. There's early prelims and then the preliminary. Paulo Costa is a fucking jack, though. It's, it's kind of scary. He's like a fucking model. It's annoying. He looks like he's straight out of a fucking video game, I swear to God. Although right there he looks like the Incredible Hulk. Because he's like a small nose, big mouth.
I don't know, maybe he's natural. Maybe he's Eo Romero. But Brazilian. on the juice not impressed at all slow and gassy get some more fights first not interested that's what Derek Brunson said no nah, he's definitely fucking juiced up there's no way around it let's see if Joe Rogan ever said anything about Paulo Costa Paulo Costa Oh, he's talked about their fight, but I don't want to get pulled off, so I'm going to stop that right now. So, hopefully you guys watched that. Um, it's my grandfather's birthday yesterday, so shout out. Happy birthday, pop-up. Um, other than that, I mean, I guess I'll read a little bit of news. Why not? I'm really fucking tired, and I have not shit to talk about. Uh oh. <sighs> Former UCLA and NBA player Tony Tyler Honeycutt found dead after police standoff. Whoa. According to LA policemen, a man was pronounced dead after following an hours long standoff after Saturday after he barricaded himself inside his home. The victim was confirmed to be 27 year old Tyler Honeycutt. The former player for UCLA who went on to play two seasons for the Sacramento Kings. Shit. That's nuts. Hmm. Alright, I'll quick pop into MSN. See what we got. Church booted or anti LGBTQ Z Z R. Um, Halsey cries on stage following G E Z split. Oh my God! Who the hell cares? All right, I'm done. That's the podcast. Go in the description. Fuck it up. You know what I mean? I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Um, looking forward to it. And uh, I'll keep you noticed about this album I'm dropping soon. <laughs> All right, peace.